What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, uh, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna talk about why is BJJ so much more expensive than Judo? So let's dive into it. So somebody asked me that in the, uh, in, in the community, in the questions. There's three reasons, okay? So the first reason is, well, supply and demand. There's a lot of lot of uh, judokas out there, very high level, and there's less high level BJJ black belt. So that's one of the reasons, right? Possibly uh, why like BJJ, it's a supply and demand thing. So <clears throat> there's a lot of demand, but there's not enough supply. So then they could charge a premium for that. So that's one thing. The other thing is in BJJ, right? Those guys, they do it for a living for the most part. Like when there's a jujitsu club, the instructors, like they have classes like multiple times a day, almost seven days a week kind of thing, right? So I mean, these guys are doing this for a living. So like they gotta make their money, they gotta pay their rent. Whereas in judo, uh, for a, a lot, for the most part, it's like a couple of classes a week and it's not even necessarily for, they don't do that as a full-time job. They do that like a side thing, right? Like they have their careers and their jobs and then they the coach these coaches then they give their judo classes and the last reason is because well there's a big federation behind judo i feel as though because there's a big federation and it's an olympic sport there's a lot more people doing it around the world a lot more people involved and then they pay like a uh a registration fee yearly registration fee to like the judo federation it makes it so that like everything is uh is covered, is less expensive. Jiu-Jitsu, there is no real federation. Yes, there is one. I know there's a IBJJF, right? But I mean, it's different, man. It's not an Olympic sport or anything like that, so there's less people in it. I mean, there's more and more, but nothing compared to judo, you know, like worldwide. I'd have to double check on that, but you guys let me know in the comments. If you guys haven't noticed, like when, the, when a sport is so big and practiced worldwide like that, it just, it just becomes cheaper. Like any, you guys will notice that anything in an Olympic sport, that's in the Olympics, boxing, wrestling, uh, anything like that. For the most part, it's not that expensive. Another reason why judo is uh, cheaper than BJJ, judo, it's, um, it, it comes from the Japanese. And Jigoro Kano, or Kano, he wanted judo to be widespread. He wanted, like, it was kind of like his, his thing to give this to society, to the world, to, to make it a better place. Now, of course, you can't do that if you're gonna exclude people by charging an arm and a leg. It was like a social thing, aspect component to it. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you guys gotta remember where it comes from. Uh, I mean, I know it comes from Judo, but it evolved and it was, you know, created more or less in Brazil. And in Brazil, I mean, the culture is different. They were, they were working on Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it was all about just beating the crap out of people. It's more of a bad boy uh, type of feel to it. And after that, when they brought that to America, like they, the Gracies, they started the UFC to prove that, you know, jiu-jitsu was, uh, was, was, was the best martial art that could, they could kick everybody's ass, right? After that, well, you know, they marketed themselves very differently. I mean, they were there to market their art and uh, it was rare. It was very rare at that time. And it's still, it's being more and more practiced now. So it's more popular, but it is rare. So, I mean, if you have like this kind of, uh, super weapon kind of thing, right? Where you could kick everybody's ass like a superpower. Well, hey, if you want to learn how to kick ass and you know beat it, beat anybody up, and beat up like all the other martial arts <laughs> at that time, that's what it was, and they did. They beat up everybody. Then hey, we're gonna we're gonna charge you some some good money, right? I believe that, uh, in my opinion, that's why BJJ is so much more expensive than judo. So I hope that made sense, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. Well, I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.